Hey guys, we have finally made it. We finally made it to the playoffs. Um, and in today's NFL Today, we will be covering the first two rounds of playoff action. And that's the wildcard games and the conference championships. Our week six recap, Creepton uh, over Carson City, 42-7. to Summer City upset, Creepton 15-6. JT City earned a playoff berth against Carson City by winning 28-10. And then Newman took care of business against Everton, 49-26. And so the rankings look like this. Newman, number one. Oakland, number two. Springfield, number three. Creepton drops from one to four after their loss to Summer City. Summer City jumps up to five. Everton drops from four to six. And JT City is at seven. Carson City at eight. And so the... I think this tells you something about the Power 8. All three, the top three teams in the rankings right now are all three play, uh, Power 8 playoff teams. And so the bracket, we will look at the Power 8 side first. Newman is the one seed. They went 4-0 in conference play. They get the bye. Oakwood and Springfield, each team 2-1. and one. Oakwood won the only head-to-head matchup. They play in the wildcard game. And now the thing with them, they were supposed to play in the regular season in week six. They decided not to. So therefore, um, we just, yeah, they only played five games, three conference games. Um, and I'm pointing at it, but you can't see it. But Oakwood and Springfield, they will play on Friday. And then if Oakwood wins, I think Newman and Oakwood would then play Later that night, but I know if Springfield wins, Newman and Springfield would be playing in the morning. And then we have Summer City and JT City. Summer City you went three and one in, in conference play. They only lost to Creepton. But Creepton still won the point differential even though they split head to head. And then JT City, they get in um with a one and three conference record, one and five overall. Shows you how weak the Redstone Conference was. And just how tough of a schedule they played, especially with Newman and Oakwood non-conference. Um, I forgot to load that, but that game will be played Thursday, and then no matter what, that conference championship will be played on Thursday. Well, it it is get that conference championship is scheduled for Thursday, but. The rental of the wildcard game does have the option of moving it over to Friday if they do not want to play 20 minutes later. Uh, stats. Um, so Newman broke the pass, passing yard and passing touchdown record. Um, Elfton basically broke the mark for field goals with 13 out of 15. Uh, points, I think Newman's up in the record for most points scored. And then points given up. Uh, Elfton gave up the most with 218. Um, Krypton gave up the least with 137. I'm not sure about the records in that. But now, for the first time ever, playoff stats will actually contribute to your overall stats. So, expect, I would say, Oakwood will be a 1,000 yard rusher. Springfield will be a 1,000 yard rusher. JT City will be a 1,000 yard rusher. And that's it. So, this season, only three 1,000 yard rushers. Um, Expect Newman and Krypton to get to over a thousand passing yards. They're just blowing everyone out. Um, expect Krypton to get up to twenty passing TDs. Newman may get close to thirty, um, and Oakwood may get ten field goals. Um, Oakwood should get up to two hundred points scored. So should Springfield maybe if they play two games, but. Um, I, I think the most depressing stat of all is Carson City, 95 points scored. They gave up 205. Uh, three kickoffs will return for touchdowns. I think that was better than last year. I think last season we only had two. And now we get to the games. Um, Springfield at Oakwood. Uh, Oakwood is favored at home by two and a half. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick that game. Um, so... I, I, I like Oakwood at home. They will win, and then JTC and Summer City. 
I, I, I just think the stage will be too big for JT City. I think Summer City will win. Um, and then Newman will be favored by three points, no matter if they play Swingford or Oakwood in the conference championship. And I'm going, I'm going ahead and saying this now because I would not be able to get another MFO today out before these games. So yeah, Newman will be favored by three, no matter if they play Swingford or Oakwood. Creepton will be favored by 10 if they play JT City and 7 if they play Summer City. And so, are you ready for, MF, for the... M, t, I mean, for, I'm sorry, are you ready for the 10th season of the MFL to conclude? Uh, hopefully with the uh, best round of playoffs because I feel like this was definitely the best regular season we've had in the history. See you guys later. Bye.